What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Beer with Jesse. Glad to have you back. It's time for another beer review. We actually have a very special uh, beer for this episode. It's our first, it's going to be our first Oktoberfest beer on the show. And it's actually going to be, a, and it's also going to be my first Oktoberfest beer of the season. So, let's check this out, guys. Ba -bam. We're going to be drinking Firestone Walker Brewing Company's Oktoberfest beer. <laughs> is there, what is this? Oktoberfest Faso Marzen beer. I believe I am saying that correctly. It is made. It was brewed to commemorate or to celebrate Oktoberfest, an ages-old German tradition of drinking beer. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, I guess so. That makes sense. Uh, so yeah, this is actually this was also, this was also a uh, viewer's request. They wanted to see me do some Oktoberfest beers. So here's one. There's more out there. This is going to be the first one for you guys here on the show. So let's go ahead and pop this open, pour it into the glass, get the aroma, get the taste, and just look at this beautiful, beautiful beer. <sighs> let's do this, guys. Let's just pop this open and get it done. And uh, the cool thing is, this is actually the very first Firestone Walker beer that I have out here, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. So I think it's the very first beer from them, which is great. I fucking love Firestone Walker. Um, let's put it into a glass, guys. Right out the can. I didn't even spill that this time. Should we just go all the way? See, you no, know, fuck it. Just go all the way. Let's just pour it all in there. Beautiful. Beautiful looking beer. It's a light golden color beer, slightly yellow, nice, or nice orangey hue on the glass, really thin, white, puppy head, it's really thin, it's actually disappearing pretty quickly, uh, nice and bubbly up on top, nice rising bubbles, you know, by the looks of it, well carbonated beer, um, and it was great, I'm not sure about the lacing, we'll find out. I really doubt I don't have any, but uh, whatever, we'll find out. So yeah, let's go ahead and review this, man. Let's take a whip, let's take a taste, and let's enjoy this. Once again, this is Firestone Walker's Oak, Oak, Torfist beer. Don't be fooled by the little symbol here. Just by looking at that, I automatically thought, Smock City, you know, Smock City has a little tree thing as a logo. This looks just like it. Kind of weird, right? You know, Smock City. By the way, I love Smock City. You know, so that's why I, when I saw this, I was like, wait, wait, what is this? But it's not Smock City. It's not Smock City. It's Firestone Walker. And also, this comes in at a 5% alcohol. 5% alcohol by volume. So let's get started, guys. Check that out. The head just disappeared. Head's gone completely. You know, thin white line around the glass. Um, Pretty much gone though. So let's check this out, guys. By the way, uh, I'm sorry I haven't been uh, doing as many videos as before. Work's been getting kind of crazy, man. We have a lot of work, lots of work, which is great, you know, I'm not complaining. Lots of work, that's great for everybody, except <laughs> you two. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, we have a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff in the works. It's just, you know, I just have to find time to actually film, sit down and film. And you know, just start knocking these things out. There's beer in the fridge that I've been saving. There's IPAs in there that I should have had fucking a couple weeks ago. You know, when they were like fresh, fucking canned that same fucking weekend or whatever. You know, and they're just sitting there. I might do one of those next. You know, but um, yeah, let's go ahead and knock this review out, guys. Let's check this out, man. Firestone Walker, Oktoberfest, 2016. 16, yeah. <laughs> Let's take a look at the aroma. 
Oh. All right, cool. That sounds, that sounds really good. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, that's, that, that has an almost sweet aroma to it. You know what this reminds me of? Oh, there's this. It's kind of bready. The aroma itself, it, it kind of reminds me of. <laughs> it's going to sound kind of stupid. It kind of reminds me of a banana. <laughs> what the fuck, right? It reminds me of a banana for some reason. You know, uh. A little bready on the uh, nose there. It smells good. <laughs> it smells fucking great. Um, let's just take a whiff, guys. I I need a beer. I need a beer right now. Let's take a whiff. Firestone Walker. Salud. It smells like a banana. <laughs> oh fuck. Okay, cool. Tastes good, um smooth. Wow, okay. That's a fucking smooth beer. Smooth. We always drinking. I mean it's only five percent alcohol. You know, so I don't expect it not to be easy drinking. I would say it's a lighter Oh, oh, that's a really good aftertaste. Wow, okay. Good. Kind of leaves behind a nice little dry, dry sensation in the back of the mouth, man. This is really good. Okay. Um, Some of the other Torfest beers, or style of beers, that I've had in the past, Um, I remember it being... A little maltier, a little heavier. Uh, this this is more of a lighter body beer, light to medium body, you know. Um, not complaining. This is a really good fucking beer. I was suspecting to be a little more uh, maybe a little maltier, you know. I was expecting to be a little maltier. It's that sweetness. I got it in the nose. Um, oh, I can't put my finger on it. Fuck. I think there's something to this. There's something to this. Now, the way they named it, the way they have it written now, Oak Toberfest. I'm assuming they had something to do with Oak. I mean, I don't know. Is this aged the oak? I doubt it. I doubt it. So I'm not getting any of it. Um, maybe it's just a play on words. You know, it could be something as simple as a play on words, which I'm just overthinking it. Maybe you know. Ah, oh, fuck yeah! That's like a you know really slight, almost caramelly fucking taste to it. Really good, uh, slightly bready, which is you know another characteristic of these beers. <laughs> wow, it's not my first beer, guys. So if I mumble a little bit, my apologies. <laughs> Fuck yeah, it's, it's a really good beer. It's a really good beer, solid. Firestone Walker. I don't think I've had anything bad from them. You know, so this will just keep that going for me personally. You know, I kind of feel bummed out because I, they have their their uh, Luptonic Distortion, right? Their series of beers, Luptonic Distortion. I think they're on the third one, and I haven't tried any of them. I didn't try the first one, the second one, and I haven't gotten the third one yet. That kind of sucks, you know? Because like I said, I'm a fan of the beer, I'm a fan of the work. I'm not sure why I haven't picked up any of the Luptonic Distortion, which name I may be getting wrong. But you'll see it, you know, when you see, you'll know what I'm talking about when you see it. Um, 
So yeah, this is a really good beer. Lighter in body. Light, well, it's not, it's not light body. It's not watered down or anything. But um, it's lighter than I was suspecting. Which is not bad at all. It's still a fucking good beer. Um, sorry guys, my I need a fucking haircut, man. <laughs> um, so yeah, wow, okay, fucking good beer. Well, yeah, I mean, guys, like I said, my apologies, man. We've been fucking busy. Not just myself, but uh, the Geo. Geo's been busy too. Uh, I mentioned this before. Geo, he ed he edits and uploads all my videos. He's, he's the man who fucking does all the work, you know. I'm just sitting here drinking. He actually takes care of this, makes it look good, you know, which is hard to do when you fuck up as much as I do. Um, so, Gio, thank you. By the way, Gio's birthday just passed. Happy birthday, Gio. Well, I mean, late birthday now. Happy birthday, man. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, to Gio. Oktoberfest beer. Martin. What was I saying? Um, so yeah, man, good, good beer. I recommend it. It's out there. It just your know, Power Fest um season just started, so you know all these beers, all these October Fest and Marzen, you know, style beers are gonna be hitting the shelves. They're gonna be hitting the shelves. You already started, obviously. But you're gonna be seeing a lot more of them. You know, they make it. Fucking everybody makes an October Fest beer. They have one. I know Sam Adams has one. I had it. Last year and the year before that, pretty cool too. Solid. Um, if you want to try a genuine German Oktoberfest beer, you know, go pick one up that's made by a German brewery. You know, that that's your best bet to get something that's more um, legit, right? Uh, for lack of a better word, more legit. Just pick up something German to get. The perfect example of an Oktoberfest style of beer. Not to say that this isn't. Not to say that you know American breweries aren't making good Oktoberfest beers. I'm just saying you know if you want to keep it legit, get something from Germany. There's plenty out there. If you need any recommendations, hit me up. I will let you know. Um. So yeah, thanks again for tuning in, guys. Um. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed drinking this beer. We're talking about beer <laughs> um i'm gonna finish this up and go get another beer out of the fridge because the night is young even though it's 12 now it's midnight but the night is young so yeah um thanks again for tuning in guys we have a lot more coming up videos i'm, I'm writing a lot more blog and reading beer reviews um hit us up on facebook guys we're active on facebook that's where I'm more active on. We're on Instagram. I'm on Untap now. Uh, fuck, check out my blog, which the link will be on the uh, video description. You know, all the link, all the links to our social media pages will be at the bottom of the video. But I mean, if you really want to keep up, you know, up to date, um, with any fucking bureau and Jesse news, hit us up on Facebook. Bureau and Jesse on Facebook. I am there all the time. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Thanks again for tuning in. Salute. Thank you so much.